It is the People Station V103. V103. The Dream. Yes. Hey, I have how you to doing? say the Dream though, right? No, you can just say Dream. It's just silly. It's silly? Yeah. Like, but what is the real title? Is it the The dream? American Dream. <laughs> <laughs> so just make it longer. Pause. You're about to get on stage. Yeah. So. I am. What, what are we doing today? It's just doing. We gonna celebrate. We gonna yeah. celebrate what's been going on since 2007. That's why I told the DJ. I was like, I don't. I don't want to look at anything I do in Atlanta as like a performance because I'm from here. Like, let's just go out with the people and just celebrate. You know Are what's you going from, on. From from here? Yeah, I'm from so from you here. Just like migrate, but no. Let and people forget you. that because I'll be out with all my super, my wonder friends. Yes. And you're like, he's not really from like, yeah, I'm from Bankhead. Like, I'm seriously. Walking, walking your success through from Bankhead to Hollywood, Buckhead. and they they call you like, I mean, a pop star, a yeah. pop singer songwriter or yeah. whatever I mean what is the the most interesting thing that you think you've learned from from Bankhead to Buckhead um, I think what's been compounded on I think what my grandfather told me about relationships and keeping certain relationships um, with people is this business is no, is, is no different in life I think um, maintaining your relationships and staying you know like don't sell out for a small buck you know like just try to put your trust in people you know, like I, as hard as that is to do, like you have to do it. You have to have people that you can call on in 20 years versus, oh, well, I just stuck it to them with a producer fee and now, but now right, y'all not like, friends. You, you gotta pay my fee, though. <laughs> right. And then, yes. nobody, and then nobody ever calls you again. And then there's like someone with Fruity Loops and stuff, like in the basement Bingo. doing beats for like five grand. Fifteen ninety nine. You know, and, yeah. and then they get a hit and, you know, yeah. Yeah. then they dollars Yeah, they like, oh, working. yeah, turn up. Right. Charging B eighty five thousand dollars like a win where this ain't the nineties. Right. But you know one thing I know about you and you talked about relationships and this really I understand you a lot better now just from that statement is that you can walk up in any station, everybody's like cool with you. Like they're like, Oh, it's dream, come on in. You know, he walking in offices and, and Oh I do and it. Everything. Yeah. I want me an office up there actually. I'm trying to get one. You probably will. Maybe. You know, I had the chandelier in mind. He came in, he was like, Hi right, Mona. Oh, yeah, you look like a little ballroom. It's like um, a mini ballroom in there. You know, there's got to be a princess at every station. True, true. So, so you saying. may as well be that. I go in there every, all the time. And it's like Kirk Franklin. So, but yeah, I'm but, jealous. Here we but go. the one thing about your relationships is that you know when it's time for you to drop, it's not like you have to be like, oh, I gotta spend all this money in promotion because you're cool and the music is good. So tell me about you bragging on these songs, this, these high notes. Which one? In uh oh, fruition. Oh yeah, really? You went, you went there, like because man, I think it's um, I I think I take a a lot of time like doing records from a writing aspect. Sometimes I have to remind myself to sing the song. So some of those ones I could dig into. I think that's why people love falsetto so much. Yeah. Some of those ones I could dig into, but I have to do what every artist does. You know, do that take three or four times, or you know. But when I'm being a songwriter. I just usually just go through the track, like almost like a rapper, like just go through it and then I hand it off to whoever's gonna sing the song. But sometimes I get stuck in that mode and so songs on my album that don't sound as crisp, it doesn't mean I can't do it, it just means that I didn't go back and finish it. I would give anything it. to see the session on, on video of you doing fruition in the studio, in the booth. To and find like just someone like you. See what I'm saying? Like, oh, see, I, see, I got in the mood. Ooh, I see you. But you what, like, out. so who are some of your um, favorite, like, say, if you had to art, name artists? I know Philip Bailey comes to mind for me. Oh, person, wow. But Otis Redding. Otis Redding. Sam Cooke, of course. Like, mm -hmm. those are the two that I remember the most because those are the ones that I probably was getting a whooping, like, around the house around that time when my mom was playing those records. But she was always, like, cleaning and singing all the time. Right. Um, of course, Michael, but everybody knows what Michael does. Of course. <laughs> Has done. Um, Prince. Yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. And I think from a writing aspect, Lionel Richie was the one, the first person that I started to understand what publishing really meant and how to build an empire oh, I'm and sure become. I'm sure you did start <laughs> to understand what publishing really meant. No, I really did. It was, <laughs> you know, a beautiful it was like, thing. He was a singer, but it was like, yeah, yeah, he also did that record on Kenny Rogers. And I was like, hold up. Ah. Oh, <laughs> ah. Oh, I got oh. it. Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can't wait to hear you on stage. I can't wait to go. And and you Rock get out. ready. New album. New album. Actually, I can't tell you the name. Oh, for real? Because you know Crown Jewel is coming out, but I decided to part ways with Capital. Mm -hmm. So and got my masters back. So I'm gonna put that out after I put out these three things that I have. 
I make too much music. You have too many secrets. I asked no, you what fragrance you were wearing at one time around I Christmas. told you what it was. I get my husband. No, he sent me on a wild goose chase. That was so wrong. Just a tiny bit. I, I want to smell good like, all by myself. Okay, I, I won't you tell. Just be like, oh, I won't yeah, publicize it, happens. but it was it was amazing. So yeah, yeah. not only you do you smell nice, you're saying nice, and we oh, can't wait for the album, even though it's top secret. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> what? What else? <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> it's the we dream. V103. The American dream. The, the American dream. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid.